The Queen has been gifted with two new corgi puppies to help her through the royal crisis with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Prince Philip's hospital treatment, it has been reported. The new dogs have joined Her Majesty, 94, at Windsor Castle as Prince Philip, 99, remains at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in the City of London following a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition. The new additions to the royal household come as Buckingham Palace prepares itself for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's two-hour CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey next Monday. It also comes just months after the monarch was said to be mourning the loss of her loyal companion Vulcan, a dachshund corgi cross who had been the Queen's pet since at least 2007, after he died a few weeks before Christmas. In 2015 Monty Roberts, an informal advisor to the Queen, said she would no longer be replacing her corgis as she did not want to leave any behind when she dies. He told Vanity Fair magazine, she didn't want any more young dogs. She didn't want to leave any young dog behind. She wanted to put an end to it. But, reporting the news Her Majesty has been gifted with more, a source told The Sun, the Queen is delighted. It's unthinkable that the Queen wouldn't have any corgis. It's like the Tower of London not having any ravens. They have only been there a couple of weeks, but are said to be adorable and made the castle their home. Both are said to be bringing in a lot of noise and energy into the castle while Philip is in hospital. While the names and the genders of the dogs are unknown, it is believed the canines were a gift. They are also the first corgis Her Majesty has owned that are not direct descendants of her very first corgi Susan which she was given in 1944 by her parents for her 18th birthday. The Queen has always been synonymous with pets, particularly her corgis, and has owned more than 30 during her reign. In 2018, her corgi Willow, who was the 14th generation descended from Susan, was put down after suffering from cancer. Meanwhile in 2012, the Queen's 13-year-old corgi Monty was seen in a segment for the opening ceremony of the London Olympic Games alongside James Bond star Daniel Craig. However later that year the palace confirmed that Monty, who was previously owned by the Queen Mother, had died. The latest arrivals come as it was revealed yesterday that the Duke of Edinburgh would remain in hospital for treatment, rest and recuperation after undergoing a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition. The Sussexes have been urged to postpone their tell-all interview with Oprah on Sunday night after Prince Philip had major surgery after more than a fortnight in hospital. Harry's grandfather had the operation at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in the City of London Britain's Top Heart Hospital after being transferred there on Monday from the private King Edward VII Hospital in Marylebone where he was being treated for an infection. Yesterday, Philip's daughter-in-law Camilla revealed while visiting a vaccination centre in Croydon that the Duke was slightly improving and that everyone in the royal family was keeping our fingers crossed. Giving an update on his condition yesterday, a Buckingham Palace spokesman said. The Duke of Edinburgh yesterday underwent a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition at St. Bartholomew's Hospital.